families moved to Las Vegas, the demand for dairy products grew. So more cows were added to the herd and more barnyard helpers were called upon. Way back then, because electric refrigerators hadn't been invented yet, and blocks of ice were hard to keep in the desert, Anderson Dairy delivered to families and businesses twice a day to make sure their milk was always fresh. And talk about desert heat. Woo! To keep the milk cold during the scorching summer days, wet burlap was placed over the bottles of milk in the back of the open bed wagon. And just like an air conditioner, the breeze blew over the burlap and cooled the milk as the water in the burlap evaporated. Cool, huh? Of course, the cows were pretty cool, too. The old barn that housed Anderson Dairy's cows was located below the natural water springs just off of what is now West Charleston Boulevard. A nice place to sleep. Good green grazing grass, cool water, and plenty of sunshine. What more could a cow ask for? I mean, group. So too did Anderson Dairy. The railroad was still playing an important part in Las Vegas' growth. It was the 1930s. Las Vegas had definitely changed. What was once a rustic railroad outpost dotted with canvas tents and a few rustic buildings had grown up and become a stylish little town decorated with quaint little houses and busy little businesses. And you know, not that bit older. The building of Boulder Dam on the Colorado River brought plenty of newfound excitement to Las Vegas lots of new people to help in its construction. Yes, Las Vegas was certainly changing. And so was Anderson Dairy. There were new dairy techniques, new equipment, and new delivery trucks. Yes, it was an exciting time in the dairy business. The dairy's newest bottling plant was located downtown on the corner of Hoover and Fifth Streets. And speaking of bottling, Anderson Dairy was adding something because Anderson Dairy was now using the latest, most exciting, revolutionary, and convenient new paper carton. Yes, this was big stuff. This was big news. This was real progress. Now there would be a choice. Would it be glass bottles or paper cartons? Moms could relax. No more drunk glass bottles and no more crying over spilled milk. Well, two out of three is that. And those new delivery trucks weren't bad looking either. But by the time World War II broke out, gasoline was in short supply. This included gas for the dairy's delivery trucks. So the engines were removed and horses were once again called upon to pull the trucks and help deliver the milk, cottage cheese, and ice cream. Captain, Captain, we've got incoming. All hands on deck for the No, not like that. With ID tags. Did you know cows have four stomachs? Holy cow! And did you also know the average cow produces some 100 glasses of milk ah! each day? Or about 200,000 glasses of milk over an average person? That's a lot of milk. And a lot of cookies needed to go with them. What was once a small town was growing up into a bustling little city. The war was winding down, and the Las Vegas Army Airfield, the Henderson Basic Magnesium Company, and the resulting war manufacturing effort had helped Las Vegas and Anderson Dairy grow bigger and better. Finally, the nifty 50s had arrived, and Las Vegas was making its name as a swinging town with new hotels and casinos. Great restaurants and all those famous stars and entertainers. For the young ones, the in thing was listening to records and hanging out at Anderson Dairy's ice cream shop. It was time for Anderson Dairy to build an even bigger dairy to meet the growing demand for milk, cottage cheese, and of course, ice cream. So in 1956, right here in this exact location, Anderson Dairy built the latest and greatest, most modern, up-to-date dairy in Southern Nevada. Yes, the times were fun and filled with soda shops and sock hops and everyone from Elvis to Bill Harry and the Comets were playing on the radio. an Anderson Dairy Cow? Just ask Kelsey. She's a member of the Holstein breed. 
Holstein cows come from the Netherlands and Europe. They're the most popular dairy cow because Holsteins produce the most milk but yield the lowest amount of butter fat. And that means lots of calcium and healthier milk to drink. Spots are just like a fingerprint. No two cows have exactly the same pattern of spots. Just like no two people have the same fingerprints. And did you know that a Holstein cow can weigh as much as 1,400 pounds or more? That's a lot of cow in one spot. As the 50s turned into the 60s, the Beatles were the new kings of rock and roll, and flower power was the anthem of a new, new generation. <laughs> Glad that went out of style. Anyway, Las Vegas was really making the scene. I mean, it was hip, man. Hotels and casinos were being out into the city skyline. Lots of new people were moving to Las Vegas in search of the Southern Nevada lifestyle. And the spaceship-shaped Las Vegas Convention Center was out of sight. And speaking of out of space, the late 60s also brought us the first landing of man on the moon. That's why it's Never mind, Rudy. Let's go and drive the movie. Back here on Earth, Anderson Dairy was still proudly making home deliveries to all the Las Vegas neighborhood homes. Yes, it's true. Believe it or not, Milkman delivering milk, butter, and cottage cheese right to your parents' front door. What a concept. What a convenience. Imagine the ice cream that you want now brought right to your front door. Anderson Dairy in Las Vegas continued to grow and prosper, and by the mid-60s, bigger supermarkets were replacing little corner grocery stores. Every day, refrigerated tanker trucks would rush the bulk milk here to Anderson Dairy, where we would test, pasteurize, and homogenize the milk, and then package the processed cottage cheese, chocolate milk, ice cream, and milk, and rush it to your school or your neighborhood store. In 1969, there were more than 20 delivery trucks driving the streets of Las Vegas. Did you know you can help keep the milk in your refrigerator fresh? Ask your mom or dad to make sure the temperature in your refrigerator is at least 40 degrees or colder. And always put your Anderson milk carton back into your refrigerator after you use it. Don't leave it out. The 70s brought many innovations, and even a few things we shouldn't be embarrassed about, like fashions, oh, those disgusting leisure suits, and the music scene, oh, the shame of disco. Dairy didn't go disco, thank goodness, but they did keep up with Las Vegas' growth. It was 1973, and Anderson Dairy and the other dairy products to you as fresh and fast as possible. And as the 80s turned into the 90s, Las Vegas' rapid growth brought with it new challenges and exciting new opportunities. Today, Anderson Dairy has built this new building. Enter this new era of dairy sophistication and patriotism in Southern Nevada. Yes, the time is now. The milk is white, waiting to be processed. Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers milked cows by hand because they had to. Give me life, liberty, and a glass of milk. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do with a glass of milk. Truly come, my fellow Americans. President gets here at Anderson Dairy are ready for ice cream and you advise her to order. Now listen very carefully. I recommend you give them ice cream. At Anderson Dairy, who started a little dairy back in 1907. Over the years, several other dairies have come and gone. Yet Anderson Dairy remains today the only hometown dairy in Las Vegas. We believe it's because of our commitment to quality, service, and a long-held belief in our community. It always has been, and it always will be. 
at Anderson Dairy, we're proud of our hometown dairy heritage. And we're proud of Las Vegas. Two rising stars, growing with the tide.